this on September 8th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Dorian has finally lost hurricane status over Nova Scotia but still packs winds of 100 miles per hour. Tropical storm Ling Ling still active over Russia and Faxai, a category 4 headed for the coast of Japan. This is September 8th, day 251 of the year. Day 99 of Atlantic hurricane season. Tropical storm Gabrielle still alive with us as well and in best 94L near the Cape Verde Islands. Day 116 in the Eastern Pacific. Juliet is no more either. That is also an ex-tropical cyclone now. Also, Invest 96W is indicated to be a subtropical depression at this time in the East China Sea. 95W likely to form as well. No systems active in the Southern Hemisphere at this time. It's all quiet here. So the main subject is still ex-Hurricane Dorian, winds of 100 miles per hour, pressure of 958 millibars. National Hurricane Center declared it has made landfall not so long ago. It has now moved just inland, one mile from Ship Harbor, Nova Scotia, just a few miles northeast of Halifax, 44.8 north, 62.9 degrees west. Over the next few days, the storm will gradually weaken, could still deliver hurricane conditions to Newfoundland and Labrador, and will move back out over the Atlantic over the course of this week, pass to the south of Iceland, and then eventually wind up moving towards the Arctic regions through the North Sea. Meanwhile, in the Western Pacific, Faxai holding on to Category 4 status, 130 mile per hour winds, pressure 942 millibars. It might just be about to lose that status. It is starting to look a little bit flaky on the satellite imagery, but still not too bad at all. It's only 270 miles from Shizuoka in Japan, 31.3 north, 139.6 degrees east. The storm could make a very strong landfall along the coast of Japan. Something to watch out for, never before has a storm made landfall within 80 miles of Tokyo with winds over 115 miles per hour. It's expected to move back out to sea later on and then end up somewhere in near the uh, Aleutian Islands. Well, this is the latest imagery of Faxi as well that we're looking at on the shear graphics. Look how low that wind shear is ahead of the storm, so that will really go in its favor. This could be a massive landfall for the coast of Japan. What can be said at least is that Faxi is a rather small typhoon and it isn't, in my opinion, uh, going up to its full potential. It could have got even stronger, but it's only just holding on to category four. North Atlantic looking like this, Dorian out the picture, uh, Gabrielle is still there, still struggling as well, um, and in the Eastern Atlantic you can see what looks like a rather weak 95, 94L. Um, elsewhere, further towards the west, a little disturbance there, one, two moles have been picking that one up to become a system in the Gulf of Mexico. Here is the Gulf itself, a few thunderstorms blowing up over the Yucatan and over the Western Gulf. The Eastern Pacific, obviously you can quite clearly see Juliet, um, but really a shell of what it used to be. You can also see what used to be Akoni as well, well to the south of Hawaii at this point. Uh, went much further south than earlier model runs anticipated when it was only developing. Um, has a low chance of development as well, could redevelop into a tropical cyclone, but not yet. Western Pacific looking like this, and you really get to see the scale of the typhoon Faxi, rather small, in, certainly in terms of Western Pacific Typhoon terms. Also you can see Subtropical Depression 96W in the East China Sea there looking pretty interesting. Um, whether it is a Subtropical Depression or not remains to be seen, that's what we're listing it as though. The Australia and South Pacific region uh, bubbling up a little bit more now. You can see some developments, uh, significant thunderstorm activity over the Solomon Islands. Uh, but elsewhere looking fairly quiet. The North Indian Ocean, some thunderstorms blowing up in the eastern part of India, Andhra Pradesh and Odisha, and also out over the Bay of Bengal. One blow up there not far from the Delhi region. Sea surface temperatures, very warm along the eastern Pacific coast, all the way up the Gulf of California, 28 degrees Celsius plus, um, 30 degrees plus even. And same too for the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantic's hotspot at the moment, so if anything ends up in there, there could be a problem. And in the Sargasso Sea, temperatures really starting to recover a little bit, same too in the main development region, 28 plus generally now. The uh, Bay of Bengal, rather warm too, 28 degrees plus. The Western Pacific, its hotspot is around the Mariana Islands at this point. Uh, so really it is favoring some potential uh, Far East developments and Central Pacific developments that move into the Western Pacific. One or two models uh, 
thinking that that might happen as well. Here is the latest floater imagery of Typhoon Faxi Daybreak over the storm and you can see the eye somewhat ragged, a rather small one, um, but it's been a very impressive storm so far. Category 4 it has already reached. It will most likely weaken and could be substantially weakening by the time it reaches the Japanese coast, here's hoping. And this is what's left of Hurricane Dorian has turned post-tropical and that last frame there shows how it has just made landfall not far from Halifax. Um, where damage is occurring and to the north of the storm still a little bit of blow up um, from the convection but it's well displaced in the face of massive amounts of wind shear. Dorian will very soon be dead for good. As of September 8th, this is the list, the naming lists. The next name in the Atlantic is Humberto. In the Eastern Pacific it's Kiko. The Central Pacific's next name is Ima. In the Western Pacific we're look looking out for Pepa. And in the North Indian Ocean, the next name on list 8 is Hicha. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text, subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can find us on Facebook and Twitter as well if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. The next Tropical Weather Bulletin will occur tomorrow with updates on these two big storms in between. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.